Welcome. We're gonna make some hummus today. Some crispy vegetables that we'll use in our air fryer. Get some good use out of that guy. I like to use dried beans over canned beans, but I'm a realist as well. Sometimes four o'clock in the afternoon, midday, and the kid wants some hummus. And I don't have time to soak chickpeas and cook it. So in a pinch, canned works just fine. That's certainly more bland than cooking it yourself from dried bean, but in this case, I'll demonstrate how to cook it from dried bean. I've done it with white beans, I've done it with black eyed peas, really any kind of legume that you wanna use that's cooked from either dry or canned, you can use subbing in kind of whatever flavors you want. I soaked these last night and about double the amount of liquid to the dried bean. You know, essentially they've doubled in size. These have soaked for at least six hours, the longer the better. So I discard the soaking liquid and I'm going to put, again, about twice the volume of water. Chickpea, turn it up. Um, I've got some baking soda. I've found that especially anything that's been dried and hydrated overnight, putting a little bit of baking soda will help soften it and cook it more evenly, reducing the chance of it being grainy. And I'll put a little bit of salt in there as well. And I like to put my thyme in just to let that cook together and part some extra flavor into my chickpeas. So while that's working, I'm gonna cook my garlic whole cloves and a little bit of olive oil, kind of infuse my oil with the taste of the garlic as well as softening the garlic. It's more enjoyable I find to like have that softened cooked sweetness of the garlic instead of just that raw punch that you get in hummus. So I want at least a quarter of a cup of oil in there because I'm gonna use that oil to stream back into my hummus while I'm blending it, get it nice and creamy. We're gonna get our air fryer going and cook off some of our vegetables. I've got a couple of green veggies and asparagus and green beans. The cook times on that should be pretty much identical. And I've got a, a little bit of butternut squash that I had left over that I cut up. So that'll take a little bit longer. I'm gonna set it at 400 degrees. So we'll do green beans first. Just a touch of oil. A little salt and a little pepper. Quick spray just to make sure it doesn't stick to my trays. Salt, a little pepper, give it a little toss, lay them out as well. Just want them nice and evenly spaced. So close it up. Now I'll probably check it in a, two minutes. I'll just switch them out, put the other one that's on top on the bottom. My garlic is getting toasty in here. I turned down the heat. I don't want it to burn by any means, so I'll kill the heat at this point, kind of reserve it on the side. Nice, get nice and crispy. Get my butternut squash evenly spaced out. Remember, you don't want it really touching. You want as much air to circulate as possible to get it crispy all the way around. Also, we'll kind of stop it and move them around as we're cooking them as well. So let's get these popped in. Nice and crispy, I'm gonna set them on the side. All right, so my beans are cooking nicely. You can see when you're cooking dried beans, there's a good amount of this foam also known as scum that floats to the top. You just want to get it skimmed off the top of the surface as much as you can. A lot of the times bad beans float to the top as well, so if I see any at the beginning that kind of float to the top, I'll remove them as well. My oil's turned down a good bit. It's definitely cooler to the touch. I'm gonna add in my paprika and just give it a little swirl for now. And I'll just let that steep off heat. It'll part all the flavor in it. That'll be a wonderful little oil to blend into it. Beans to stir, see kind of where we stand. Mmm, we're getting pretty close. 
time's kind of falling apart a little bit, I'm just probably gonna go ahead and pull it out so I don't have too much of a mess on my hands. Get that about five more minutes and I'll check that. We'll check on our sweet potato fries. These are nice, crispy, cooked all the way through. I'm gonna turn off my air fryer, get my food processor set up, and we will finish off our hummus. All right, chickpeas. They should easily split in half. Very tender when you bite into them, but they shouldn't be disintegrating. They should have a little integrity left to them. Cooking it with a little bit thyme and salt really imparts some wonderful flavor into it. So we'll go ahead, we'll get these tossed in. I'm gonna take my cloves of garlic that roasted over here and I'm gonna toss them in as well. Zest of lemon. I'm gonna add lemon juice later. Just try to maximize all my product. All right, got a really coarse meal kind of going on here. I'm gonna add my tahini, and that's just pretty much peanut butter, but with uh, roasted sesame seeds instead of peanuts. Roasted red peppers in there. Sure to minimize the amount of extra liquid I have so I can control what's going into it now rather than coming back from it having too much liquid in there. So tahini's got a little bit of liquid. I strained off all the extra liquid from those roasted red peppers. Lemon juice will add a little bit more liquid as well. Okay, starting to get there. So add a little bit of ice water. And I'll put a tiny bit of my oil in. Nice, beautiful paprika oil. And then we'll stream the rest of those in. Create a nice, emulsified, delicious hummus. Finish off all that salt I had from earlier. It's probably gonna be a full teaspoon going into it right now. I'm gonna touch a pepper. And we're just gonna blend this until it's super, super smooth. Maybe three more minutes. All right, nice and smooth. A little bit of that paprika oil left over. I'm just gonna give it a little topping. Give it a taste. Mmm. I mean, fried vegetables, just nice and roasted, good color on them. It's, oh, this is so good. I think cooking the beans from scratch makes a big difference. I like it with cooked vegetables. I like it with raw vegetables. I just love hummus. Love how versatile it is. For something that's good for you, man, delicious. Hope you love it. Hope that you try it. I hope to see you guys again soon.